for this moment or if i get so may way more i'll be way more happy i today i'll be making a, a sandwich pizza and let's start now now we have to take the slice of uh, bread and then take some butter apply it evenly around the whole bread like this put lots of butter cuz if you don't put butter here it won't cook properly and uh, butter is like oil right so it won't be crispy and nice for you you have to put it like this bread and uh, now let's put the other one uh, if even if you don't have a pizza base you can make it you can do it any time any uh, where now we have to put little bit pizza sauce and it's very uh, like tasty too i know everyone like me loves pizza i actually loves the i actually love the pizza which you get from outside it's very crispy cheesy and yummy and we can also make it at home healthy if you want some like junk or if you want to uh, in special occasions you can eat outside but if you just want to eat you can ask your parents to make it like this it's really easy or um, if your parents are looking watching at you you can also take their help and make, make one see this is how you have to apply it it is pizza sauce outside in some kind of stores cuz here uh, nearby for us we found a ba- baker shop So we found this pizza sauce and we got it. It's uh, like very yummy. We can only we can put it on anything like bread, plain bread, and then toast it with the sauce. It'll be very tasty and yummy. I'm not now. Uh, I'm gonna put some broccoli. Some people don't like broccoli, so it's okay. You can skip this uh, part. Uh, putting broccoli. Broccoli takes a lot of space. We are gonna put some cabbage. Yum! I like every single vegetable except tomato. It's like so sour. I hate sourness. Almost done. You instead of putting the whole thing fully, you just put a little, little, so you can even feel that the pizza sauce taste, uh, and it'll be very yummy. So now I'm gonna put some capsicum. Mm, capsicum time. I want some tomato. I'm gonna put little, little. Oh, it's starting to look nice. Now it's olives. Yay! I love olives. So let me just use this spoon. Um, guys, uh, you can type in the comment if you li- comments if you like olives. It's very yummy. Now let's add gel panso. These are also kind of like chilies. Like they're not kind of chilies. They're a uh, different type of chili. And these are not spicy kind chili. They're like sour, like olives. Let's put some cheese. This is not like plain kind of cheese. It's a uh, mozzarella cheese which normally they put in Domino's and all. This is the one which stretches in your pizza and it's very yummy. Actually, and actually you in USA they use uh, this uh, cheese only because they like uh, the cheese stretching and. You can put how much ever you want to, cause if you don't eat cheese that much, you can put very little. If you eat cheese, you can put a uh, little more. I eat cheese a lot, so I'm putting so much, cause I like when the cheese stretches. It's like noodles. And now the pizza is ready. See? You don't have to put the uh, pizza on the first only. 
Uh, so the pizza should cook properly. We have to preheat the oven. So now uh, we have to preheat means check where the preheat. Uh, I mean the pizza is. The pizza is um, here. So it's CF four. We can close it. Then press on twenty four hours. You can see this now. Then. So this is what then then start. So now the preheat has over over so you can open it. Take the pizza. I took my mum uh, mummy's help because the uh, oven was really hot. So now you have to put the temperature to two hundred degrees. Its time is twelve minutes. It'll be over in just twelve minutes. For uh, for me, it's over eleven uh, minutes. It's going on because you can see it over there. And okay, I'll see you when the pizza is ready. So you can see that uh, uh, the uh, bread is inside the oven and it's getting cooked very nicely, right? So I thought of showing you the process of the cheese melting because it was very very beautiful and um, I'm really sorry if the clarity is not that good. Pizza is ready. Um, to give it a little more uh, topping and taste, I'm gonna add a little uh, pizza topping. Very little. Because I don't eat too much. And I even have chili flakes. Um, if you are small children, only put a little bit. The chili flakes are very spicy. So now let's just cut it and taste it. Mm. Oh, it's so crunchy! Guys, yeah, look at the final moment. I don't know how it will be. Cheese. Did you see that stretch, guys? How well it got stretched. Oh, oopsie! So now it's time for the taste reveal. Mmm. Yum. It's so good. The olives are giving it a nice uh, sour and. Juicy taste. The capsicum is also giving a nice one. I love this thing. It's the yummiest pizza I've ever eaten. It's almost like you've gotten it from outside. And the cheese which we put it is mozzarella cheese, so it makes this uh, stretch more, and it's uh, yummy. Not like normal cheese. I hope you like this video. Please share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Next time I'll give you another recipe, yummy recipe like this, so you can also get make it at home. Enjoy the taste. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm, no.